Bucks. To win on Street Smarts, you gotta be brave. What female superhero flew an invisible plane? The invisible woman. You gotta be tough. The little engine that could is famous for saying what? I can do it, I can do it. But you can't be a chicken. If you're a coward, your belly is often said to be what color? Blue. Yellow. What about your yellow belly? No. Is this your yellow belly? Street Smarts, think you've got them? Find out now. Street Smart Time, Frank Nicotero. Now, when my first career as a dancer was cut short by a sprained tendon, I had to make a career change. Now I go all over the country asking questions and getting answers, never to shake my bonbon again. <laughs> <laughs> then I boot scoot back here to let our in-studio contestants hustle to predict whose answers had good form and who just stumbled across the floor. And here are our contestants. We have the lovely Stacy <laughs> And Pavel, right there. Hello, buddy. Now, as Tina Turner would say, I'm your private dancer, dancer for money. Only one of you will walk away with the dough, the other will limp away empty-handed. Okay, now let's meet our three footloose friends on the street. First up, Bay Bayou-born Brian runs down a list of his hobbies. Brian, where are you originally from? Louisiana. What do you do in Louisiana? Holla at girls, lift weights, play the drums, and just be sexy. You're a drummer. I am a drummer. Do you have any nicknames? Romance. Big Daddy, oh, you want to see my tag? Oh, what you? Oh, oh, what's it say? Let's say romance. Romance. So who calls you romance? That's a nickname of yours. The girls. They call you romance. The girls call me romance. Oh. He's the man. <laughs> Next, Carol gives us a demonstration of the little-known shaky dudes. So, Carol, you're from Minnesota. Now you live in the desert. Well, part time. Right. When I want to be away from the cold, cold winters. The winters are brutal there. Oh, they're awful. They're awful. You ought to know. I know. I'm from Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah you poor thing. Woo. You used to be a car hop. I used to be a car hop at the AW stand, and I went on my roller skates, and I'd make all the tips there were because I had the shaky doos <laughs> on roller skates. The shaky doos. Yes. Show me the shaky doos. <laughs> Thank you, news. And finally, mom to be Tish doles out some free fashion advice. So, Tish, where are you from? I am from Las Vegas, Nevada. And what do you do here in Vegas? I work for a clothing store. Now, Tish, you're the first woman I've ever interviewed on the show that's that's this far along pregnant. How far along are you? I am seven months to do Seven, seven months. So you, you're pregnant with a boy, Tish. I'm thinking, you know, Frank's a good name. Frank. Like your shirt, huh? Your shirt's a good color, too, huh? It is. It's orange. I don't like the color orange, so why would I name my baby Frank? <laughs> it's a good name. All right, grab your square dancing shoes. It's time to find out who knew it. I asked all three the same question. You guys got to figure out who got it right. You're locking your choice, and the correct guess earns you 100 bucks, so all let's right. do it. Yeah. Here we go. It's uh, first Where question to Brian, Carol, and Tish, who didn't like me or my shirt. That's all right. I'll get through it. One person. All right, uh, most people take Dramamine to prevent what? So what do you think? Who knew it? Is it Brian, Carol, or Tish knew about Dramamine? So lock in, guys, and if you're right, I'll give you 100 bucks. I like to start off that way. All right, well, only one of you might get 100 bucks. You're both locked in. you got a difference here. Stacy, you think Brian knows, huh? Oh, yeah, Mr. Romance. Mr. Romance, exactly. He's, he's got to know. All right, he looks like he makes the most. Most people take Dramamine to prevent what? Sinuses. Sinuses? Sinuses. Do you have any sinus problems? Nah. I don't get sick. I'm what, kind of, what, what kind of med medication do you take then? I don't take just good loving and I'll be straight. <laughs> for sure. Some kisses on the cheek. Oh, okay. That was good shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stacey Brian didn't get that right. Now, Pavel, you think Carol will know, right? Yep. Okay, let's take a look. Carol, most people take Dramamine to prevent what? Motion sickness. Do you ever have any problem with that? Oh, you know what? You need to take the drama me? Every time I'm in an airplane. Every time I'm in bed. The... Motion in bed? I got a water bed. Oh. Oh, you thought I was going to say something else. I didn't. No, I did. Ah! <laughs> oh, the shake it She got it right. Way to go. Yeah. It's a very physical show today, isn't it? Okay, here's the next one, guys. I showed Brian, Carol, and Tish this card here and asked them, can you pronounce this word? So who could do it, Brian, Carol, or, uh, you know, Tish? So what do you think? 
All right, and Stacy's ready, and so is Pavel. It's pa pa Pavel. Pavel, yeah. Pavel, all right. You guys are both locked in, you think, Tish. Stacy, she's the one who'll get it, huh? Oh, yeah, she'll get it. She's young. She used to wear those. Clothes. All right, okay, let's take a look. Can you pronounce this word? Esprit. That's right. What, is, what do you know that of from? Clothing. All right, Esprit. I clothing. love Esprit. Yes, very nice. Clothing. You both get 100 yeah. bucks. Nice job. Tish knew right. that one. And you know what? I got to see what Brian said on this one. Can you pronounce this word? <laughs> a spirit. What's that? <laughs> a Mexican spirit. <laughs> <laughs> a spirit. <laughs> All right, guys, you're doing perfect. We got one more question. Pavel's got 200 bucks. Stacey, you got 100 bucks. Mm. All right. Traditionally, what are you supposed to do to the Blarney Stone? So what do you think? Who do you think knew it? Brian, Carol, or Tish? All right. <laughs> All right, you're both locked in. You both think Carol. Uh, Pavel, you think Carol's the one who knows this, huh? Yeah, uh, simply for the fact that she's older than me and hopefully she'll know it, because okay. I have no idea. Okay. All right, let's see. <laughs> Traditionally, what are you supposed to do to the Blarney Stone? Kiss it. To kiss it, and what's that, what happened? <laughs> see, I thought you were going to whack me again. <laughs> and what's it bring if you kiss the Blarney Stone? Black. That's the right answer. Yeah. There you go, guys. All Great right. job. You each get $100. And, you know, before we go to break, let's see what Tish said on this one. Traditionally, what are you supposed to do to the Blarney Stone? Rub it. You rub it? Yes. And if you rubbed it for good luck, what would you hope for? Um, I would hope for a child that has a head full of hair this time because my son didn't have any hair at the top. He's got hair now. Oh, yeah. He has plenty of hair. My son is fine. He looks good. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. All right, let's out the score. Stacey had a good round. $200. Oh! Pavel, perfect score, 300 bucks. Oh! All right. Yeah. Thinking of Ireland inspires me to do a wee little jig. Thinking of $200 questions in the next round makes me want to do a jig double tap. Show me your nape. My nape? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's your navel. Your neck, the back of your neck is your nape. Oh, okay. When's the last time you were kissed on the nape? Never. That's why I didn't know. I'm always kissed on the navel. Smarts, let's meet our in-studio contestants. We have the lovely Stacy here. She's from Hearst, Texas. She's an art representative. And you were staying in Germany one time. Tell the story. Yeah, I was in a club in Germany, and I asked this girl who didn't speak English. I was trying to tell her to introduce me to this German guy. She obviously misunderstood because she ended up getting his number for herself. She kind of stole the guy from you. She took him. Damn Germans. <laughs> Wait, I'm half German. All right, anyway, Stacy, thanks for being here. All right, now we got Pavel here. He's uh, from Ottawa, Ontario. You're a photo photographer. And you love to take dares, right? Yeah, I wish I could make a living at it so much. So uh, one right. time I did a belly flop off a, a second story building into a pool of water. Sweet. But my best one was walking into a bar and calling a man, uh, slapping a man and calling him Susan. Oh! <laughs> did you make money off this? 50 bucks. And the guy didn't come back at you? A little bit. Talked him down. <laughs> but you got 50 bucks. That's for bail money, I guess. You need, these, you need this guy. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for being here, both of you guys. All right. Did someone take off a jazz shoe? It smells pretty rich in here. It must be time for Who Blew It? I ask the same question only two at a time. You must guess who got it wrong. You'll lock in your choice and a correct guess earns you $200. Plus there's a dunce cap right there. Yeah. Can only be used once this round. When you think your opponent does not know the answer, buzz in and dunce them. If they're wrong, you get 200 bucks. If they're right, they get the 200 bucks. It's a cap that can tap both ways, so take care. Recap the score, Stacey got 200 bucks. Right. Pavel's got 300 bucks. All right, guys, here's the first question I asked about Carol. And Tish, what female superhero flew an invisible plane? So what do you think? Who blew it? One of them didn't know. Was it Carol or Tish? Could not give me the answer. You guys both have a lot of money on the board so far. And you're both locked in. And uh, let's see, you think Carol's uh, the one who blew it, huh, Stacey? Oh, she looks like she has a, a little Wonder Woman outfit at home. OK. All right, <laughs> let's take a look. What female superhero flew an invisible plane? That had to be. The Invisible Woman. The invisible Woman. But how did, they, how did they know she was there then? If you can't see her in the Invisible Plane. Because there was dust in her seat, and as the plane was going up, the dust just kind of filtered through the air. She blew it. That's good for you, Stacey. No, Stacey, who blew it? She blew it. You got money. Oh, okay, good, good. <laughs> Sorry, you got the lead. That's yes. right. Pavel went with Tish. She got it right. Here's the right answer. What female superhero flew an invisible plane? Wonder Woman. Correct answer, sorry, Pavel. Pavel, Pavel, I'm sorry. Don't, I don't want you to come over and slap me and call me Susan, so I'll get your name right. All right, here's the next question I asked to Brian and to, uh, Tish. If you're a coward, your belly is often said to be what color? 
Oh, Pavel, you've been done. Stacy's challenging you here. I'm going to read the question again. You have five seconds to answer the question. 200 bucks on the line. If you get this right, you'll take the lead. If you're a coward, your belly is often said to be what color? Yellow. Right answer. Way to go, Pavel. Throw that cap on Stacy. Thinking you wouldn't know that. Well, you took the lead, too. You're up to 500 bucks. Now, uh, what do you guys think? Who blew it, Brian or Tish? Maybe you can make another 200 bucks here, Pavel, if you tell me who blew it. And, okay, you're both locked in. You think Brian blew it, huh? Yes, think indeed. I think he has no sense of what his belly looks like, okay. so I don't think he'll tell me. Let's uh, take a look. If you're a coward, your belly is often said to be what color? Yellow. Yellow belly. Yellow What about you, yellow belly? No, is this a yellow belly? I got it. Oh, I wasn't gonna show my, see? Is this a yellow belly? Don't run, don't do it, no. Is this a yellow belly? Oh. You made me hungry. <laughs> ah, Brian got that right. It looks like Tish blew it for Stacy. Watch this. If you're a coward, your belly is often said to be what color? Blue. Blue belly? Yeah. What color's your belly? You got a big belly. Huge belly. She blew it. Way to go, Stacy. Nice job. That's 200 bucks for you. Uh, nice job. Okay, here's the last question around I asked to Brian and to Carol. I asked both of them. The little engine that could is famous for saying what? So, uh, there's only one dunce person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what, do you think? what do you think? Who blew it up there? Uh, what do you guys think, Brian or Carol? Pavel, lock in as quickly as you can. All right, you both think Brian's the one who blew it. He won't know this, uh, Stacy? No, I don't think, I don't think he's gonna. All right, Pavel, you agree? I agree. Okay. The little engine that could is famous for saying what? I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. There you go. Well, you had like a little beat going to that too. See, that's, that's all comes with being a drummer. Right. Oh, that doesn't look good. I'm sorry about that. Line. You got that right. Carol is the one who blew it. Watch the it. little engine that could is famous for saying what? I can do it, 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 chug, chug, I can do it. That was the wrong answer. All right, let's recap the scores here. Pavel, you got 500 bucks. Stacey's got 600 bucks, though. All right, I think I can, I think I can return with $300 questions. Stay put. How many months are in a year? 365. 365, right. Well, kick up your heels and pick up your riding crop. It's time to pick your pony. Each of our players will choose the first of the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. Crack predictions worth $300. Yeah, yeah. guys. The dunce cap is back. It's worth 300 bucks. You can only use it once. Now, recap of the scores here. Pavel's got 500 bucks. Stacy's got 600 bucks. And the player who's trailing goes first. So, Pavel, that's you. So, who would you like to saddle up? I'd like to saddle up with Carol. Carol, all right. See the shaky news? Stacey, how about you? And I'm going with Big Daddy Brian. Go, Brian. Romance. That's right. Good choices. All right. Here's your first question to Carol. What's the common name for that skirt a Scottish man wears? What do you think? Do you think she got it right or wrong, Pavel? I think she got it uh, right. I think Definitely. she'll get this one. Yeah. All right. Let's see if you can take the lead. What's the common name for that skirt a Scottish man wears? Oh, a kilt. Kilt, right. And what do they wear under their kilts? Oh, absolutely nothing. Oh, man. I'm wearing, I'm wearing a thong. Be careful. Whoop! Snap! <laughs> she got it right. Way to go! Yeah. Three hundred bucks for you. Gives you eight hundred in the lead. And she pinched my butt yet again. All right, Stacey. Here's your first question. To Big Brian. Right. The bar exam is the licensing test for what profession? So what do you think? Think Brian got it right or wrong? I'm gonna say he's gonna get that right. All right. If he gets it wrong, then you'll leapfrog back in the lead. Let's find out, Stacey. Brian, the bar exam is the licensing test for what profession? Lawyers. Lawyers, there you go. Would you be a good lawyer? No, not really. Why not? Because a sad face, I'll break down. See, don't do it. See? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You got it right, Stacy. Oh, I love that guy. Sorry, can't give you 300 bucks. All right, Pavel, here's your next question to Carol. What office is a gubernatorial candidate running for? Oh, you've been done, Stacy. Pavel, throw that cap up there. Stacy, I'm gonna read the question again. You have five seconds to answer, and if you get this right, you'll take the lead. What office is a gubernatorial candidate running for? Um, president? 
The wrong answer, Casey, I'm sorry. The money goes to Pavel, he takes the lead. Yeah. Uh, even bigger, he's up to 1100 bucks. All right, now Pavel, let's go your ball. What do you think, you think Carol got it right or wrong? Uh, I think she's gonna get that wrong. All right, let's take a look. What office is a gubernatorial candidate running for? Cuba. They're running for Cuba? Yep. What are they running for position in Cuba? Head honcho. The head honcho, who is now, and who's the now the head honcho there? Uh, Cruz chef. I think it's Castro. Yeah. You got it wrong. Way to go, yeah. Pavel. That was a good question for you. Up to 1400 bucks. Uh, gubernatorial uh, governor. They're running for governor. And Khrushchev was in Russia many years ago. <laughs> Banged his shoe, didn't he? All right. Uh, here we go, Stacy. Next question for you to Brian. You can get some of that money back. All right. Complete the title of this children's game. Hide and go what? What do you think, Stacy? I think he'll get this right. All right. Let's see if we can get you up to 900 bucks. Complete the title of this children's game. Hide and go what? Seek. All right, I'm gonna go hide, see if you can find me. <laughs> they got it right, let it go, Stacy. Couldn't even see me there, you're up to 900 bucks. All right, last question uh, for each of you. Each have one more, uh, 1,400 bucks for Pavel. Stacy's got 900 bucks. Pavel, I asked Carol, how many pockets are on a common pool table? How many pockets are on a common pool table? What do you think? I think she's gonna get that right. She looks like the sort of play pool. Okay, yeah. let's find out. How many pockets, oh. Yes? How many pockets are on a common pool table? <gasps> on a common pool table? On a common pool table? Right. There would have to be six on a common it, pool it table. It is six, right. The right answer, way to go, yeah. Pavel. You're up to 1700 bucks, you're hot. All right, Stacy, this is big. Right. We can get you up to 1200 bucks. I asked Brian, what is listed on the New York Times bestseller list? What do you think? Hmm. This will take you to 1200 This is big. He's not, he's not going to get it. He won't one. get it. No. All right, let's see if we can get you that 300 bucks. What is listed on the New York Times bestseller list? Movies. That's a wrong answer. Way to go, Stacey. Nice job. The correct answer is books. New York Times bestseller list. Recap the score, Stacey, you're up to 1200 bucks. That's normally a pretty good score. But Pavel, $1,700. Oh, yeah! When yeah. we return, Stacey and Pavel will be making a final prediction on a question I asked of Brian, Carol, and Tish. I asked them, an electrocardiogram measures the electrical activity of what organ? I haven't been this nervous since the first time Barishnikov and I did our first pas de deux together. It must be time for... The wager Pavel, here's the deal. Now during the break, you both secretly chose a person, predicted if they would be right or wrong, and then you made a wager not to exceed your total. Couple of good scores here. Stacey's got 1,200 bucks, Pavel's got 1,700 bucks. You guys nervous? The sweat's pouring off me like I'm some kind of maniac. All right, I'm not gonna do that. Right. Here's a question I asked of Brian, Carol, and Tish. An electrocardiogram measures the electrical activity of what organ? So let's get your choices. Stacey, with 1,200 bucks, trying to come from behind and win the game. So whose uh, clip do you want to see? I want to see Tish. You're going with Tish. All right, Pavel, how about you? I want to see Brian. You're going with Brian. All right, yeah. well, nobody chose Carol and her shaky dudes and her pinching my butt. Thank you, Carol. You were very funny. We loved you. All right, so Stacy, we're going to check out Tish's clip. We haven't seen her in a while, so let's see what she says. An electrocardiogram measures the electric activity of what organ? Your lungs. Okay, lungs is a wrong answer. Now, Stacey, you went with Tish. She got it wrong. Push your button and tell me what you thought she'd do. You thought she'd get it wrong. All right, how much of your 1200 bucks did you wager? All of it, nice. She went all or nothing, takes it for $2,400. All right, Pavel, the pressure's on with Brian's clip. Let's check it out. Brian, an electrocardiogram measures the electrical activity of what organ? The heart. All right, that is the correct answer. The heart is right. Now, Pavel, you went with Brian. He got it right. What did you say he'd do? I said the opposite. Oh, no. How much of your 1700 did you wager? What did you wager of your 17? He wagered. I don't want to talk about it. All of it. Bust it down to zero. Stacey, you just won $2,400. There you go. I want to thank everybody I interviewed on the field. You guys are always great. And by the way, what did we learn today? A gubernatorial candidate's not running for the president or the head of Cuba, running for governor. Thanks, everybody. Uh, an electrocardiogram measures the electrical activity of what organ? Your heart. <laughs>